Hello, my name is Matthew Kaminsky, and I chose to do my project on Stevenson Elementary School. It is a kindergarten through sixth grade Mesa public school located in Far East Mesa at the corner of Pueblo Avenue and 96th Street, which is between Broadway and Southern, Ellsworth and Crisman Roads. Um, in this neighborhood, there are a couple of assets. Um, there is a church food bank located one and a half mile away from the school. A hospital is located one and a quarter miles from the school. An urgent care is located one mile from the school. Uh, there are multiple grocery stores located nearby, which helps the um, parents provide fresh food for their families. There is a Fry's located a mile and a half away from the school. Um, there are two separate Basho's stores, each of them located two and a half miles from the school. Additionally, there is an Albertsons two miles away from the school. We also have a public pool located three quarters of a mile away from the school, as well as a public park located one mile away from the school. Some of the neighborhoods and mobile home parks will also provide a small playground for their residents to use. Um, there are a few liabilities to this area. One, there is a liquor store located exactly one mile away from the school. Um, and sometimes uh, people who are homeless or um, alcoholics hang out near there a lot. Um, there are not very many bars, but there are one that is one and a half miles from the school, another one that's two miles from the school, and there are two distinct ones, each located three miles away from the school. Um, another issue is we have smoke shops that sell marijuana paraphernalia. There's one just a mile away from the school, as well as one two and a half miles away from the school. Additionally, one mile away from the school, there is a marijuana dispensary that dispenses marijuana to both recreational and medical patients. Um, to describe the neighborhood this school is in, uh, the school is in, it is um, a county island, which is a part of unincorporated Maricopa County that is surrounded in its entirety by the city of Mesa. The school serves the entire county island as well as a few very small portions of the city of Mesa. Um, the vast majority of this area is full of 55 plus retirement communities um, where children are banned and they're the part-time homes of transient seniors that typically go back up north during the summer months and all flock down here during the winter months. That being said, tucked away between these 55 plus parks and the 202 freeway, and as well as for a block or two surrounding the school, there are areas that are free from age-dependent redlining. One surprising statistic about Stevenson Elementary School is that 85% of students are eligible for free or reduced price lunch. That is determined to be 85% um, of students are from low income families. Stevenson Elementary is also a majority minority school. 53% of the students are Hispanic, 37% are white, 6% are black, 2% are Native Americans, and 2% are also from two or more races and Asian Americans make up less than 1% of students. Um, the zip code the school serves primarily is 85208. Um, the median household income of this zip code is just $59,000, um, which is significantly lower than the rest of the city of Mesa. Um, this area housing prices are extremely high. Um, mobile homes that um, are on lots in parks that require the payment of lot rent are going for $105,000 at the lowest. Um, if you would like to own the land on which your mobile home is, the only one that is for sale currently is listed at $375,000. And regular homes are going for well over $425,000. Um, as far as technology goes for the school, it's unfortunately not the best. The only technology the students really have access to is a computer lab located in the library. One positive asset for at least the Pueblo Mesa Mobile Home Park, where the vast majority of students who are in this park go to school at Stevenson Elementary, is that each and every parent, as well as a couple of the neighbors that do not have children, are involved highly with all of the kids. On weekends, the children will get together and play in the streets while the adults chat and watch for cars. This provides the external asset of safety. Um, as I mentioned, all the, all the adults watch the children to ensure that they are safe. Permission from any adult to go to the playground or into another house is honored by all parents. We all look out for each other. 
Um, positive peer influence is ensured by adults knowing all of the kids and keeping them away from bullies and bad influences to the best of our abilities. Um, this is a caring neighborhood where we are all friendly with one another and we all look out for all of the kids without question. Um, due to this, the other ex external assets we have are other adults as role models. Um, we all strive to take care of the kids the best we can and to provide them with positive role models. You know, we don't allow them to see us behaving incorrectly because we simply don't. And also, the children are able to make relationships with all the other adults in the neighborhood. You know, we all take care of them. We all spend the night at each other's houses, and we are always around and develop our own relationships with the children. Thank you for watching.